to the mountains now! It's too stormy for Tom's helicopter! I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. You can do this! Easy does it. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. I'm sorry, Sam. I should have checked the weather before heading off. Get me off! This is nothing like it is on the TV. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> now, don't you worry about anything. Yeah. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road vehicle. giving me another chance, Sam. You did really well, Arnold. You could come and work for me anytime. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to say, Norman? Yes. If it wasn't for that silly horse, I would have won. I mean, I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to beat James. But you didn't, though, Norman, eh? The badge goes to whoever used their map correctly. Well done, James. You are totally awesome. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Sarah. I don't believe it. Why is it always James? Ow, my name's James. I've got a map. Uh, Arnold, we might need you to calm something else down. <laughs> I can navigate. I can estimate our position using this map. <laughs> Dillis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James on a giant birthday cake. Ah, 
Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help fire Captain Steele. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Dillis, I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. Where's Hannah? Hannah! <sighs> I got Jupiter! I'm fine! Oh, flying down the street I was, headed straight for the harbor. Oh. around with your present, Uncle Sam. And caused such a big accident. Well, as long as you always remember that racing around can be dangerous, especially when you're near the water. On behalf of everyone in Ponty Pandy, I would like to present my brother, Sam, with a very special present. Not just to say happy birthday, but also to say thank you for being our own very special hero. It's uh, supposed to be Jupiter. Sorry, it uh, got a bit uh, broken. It couldn't be more perfect. Thank you all. To Sam. To, to Sam. Sam. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the King of Dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Ah, behold, my dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Wow! Huh? Oh, and it's coming toward us! I think I better call Fireman Sam. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. <gasps> My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did.
did, Elvis. Oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly set Fire Captain Steele's Nelly! Uh, I think you'll find that's Bessie. Fire Captain Steele's Bessie? On fire! I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches. And that is one thing you should never do. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, that Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. I've fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. <laughs> Stay calm. We'll find him. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Uh, 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 uh. 
Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Steal here. I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? Well, I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Um, oh, ha. Uh, yes, you may have to remove me first. <laughs> oh, oh. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! just in time. Well, you can thank Elvis for that. But you should always check that vehicles are safe before you drive them. And if that brake cylinder belongs to this bus, then I'm guessing it wasn't. It's all right, James. Nearly there. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever! It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Faster! Faster! Oh, this car chase scene looks incredible! Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman! Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James! This is the bit where you have a spectacular crash! This McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. Ah, uh, I may as 
well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! <laughs> ah! ah, Mr. Pond. I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut. Tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. If your stunt give him a shout, he'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way.